So now we are going to make salt baked branzino, which is one of my favorite dishes using fishes because it's so easy and it looks so complicated and fancy. And if you make this for your friends or your partner or yourself, you're just going to be mind blown or they're going to be mind blown because basically what we're doing is we're going to make a little cave using salt and egg whites and fennel seeds. And so by enclosing this cute little fishy in a cave, it's kind of like snuggled in a sleeping bag and it just cooks. So the salt just slightly penetrates the skin. So you don't need to season the fish. It just becomes this really flaky, delicious white fish that is served whole with a beautiful salsa verde. You're gonna wanna eat it over and over again. Figure one fish per person. Uh, when you get the fish from the fishmonger, I got this from Whole Foods, make sure you ask them to clean it and like say it three times, but you want the head and the tail on. This tail didn't make it, but if I were to get it again, ask for the tail. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take kosher salt, egg whites, and fennel seeds, and we're gonna make a paste. So like the cheapest salt, Morton salt is fine. Shake it all in there. Again, the question like how much, I don't know, a cup. Probably more actually. Um, and you want to use your best uh, your your best knowing for how much egg white. So we don't want it to be like milky is the word that comes to mind. We want it to be a paste, so pretty thick. Um, so you can see like I put a good amount of egg whites in this and it's a little bit too thin, so I just need more salt. So yes, real pasty and enough to cover the whole fish. So I'm um, probably going to need some more salt. So thick like cement comes to mind. And then you're going to add, figure like a tablespoon of fennel seeds. So they're like really fragrant and a little bit sweet. And your fish won't taste like fennel. Um, but it adds a really nice kick. So once you have this paste, you are going to actually cut it on this first, but so it goes. We're going to um, take a lemon and we're gonna slice it because we wanna stuff the cavity of the fish with some lemon and some fresh herbs. So a bit of lemon thinly sliced and you're just gonna stuff it in. And then, um, Fennel fronds are really beautiful, parsley sprigs, whatever you have on hand. Make it pretty. Take some parsley sprigs, just the stems. Great use of stems. Never throw out your stems. You can literally juice your stems if you have a juicer and it adds just amazing vitaminas into your body. Okay, so once this cute little fishy is stuffed, oh, I failed to mention, you wanna dry the fish. Make sure you wash it first. Get all the goo out. Um, helpful to have a foil lined baking sheet. But whatever you have will do. I'm just gonna use this situation. Now I'm gonna take my paste, which feels a little thin. So we're going to just add a little more. Okay, and we're going to snug like a bug in a rug. Just put this little sleeping bag over the fish to make a cave. And you want it to like um, cover all sides. So it should be really, really cozy. You want to do your best also not to get the salt in the flesh so that uh, the lemon actually helps with that because it creates sort of a barrier in the opening. Cover the middle area, mid section, not the tail, like the fin tail. I don't have a fin tail because the fish guy got a little handsy with my fish. And not the head. So if you notice, just the mid section. And what's gonna happen is we're going to bake this fishy 
for about 14 minutes and then just like let it rest. And this egg white salt concoction, because egg whites are really a binder, which is why don't just eat egg whites. I know they're yummy and you can eat a lot of them and like not get fat. <laughs> so says younger me, but they're literally a binder in your body and they will make things get stuck in you. So just use them for the cave for the fish. Egg whites, fennel seeds, salt. If you notice, it's pretty snug. We're going to take this and we're going to cook it. And when it's cooked and when it's rested, the cave is literally gonna pop off like you would out of a sleeping bag and have this really beautiful flaky white fish ready to be devoured or share. We have chopped parsley, smashed garlic, lemon zest, anchovy. Um, now we are going to just squeeze some lemon juice. This is all again, just like kind of taste. You might have to taste it and decide that you need more lemon juice. And guess what? Just put that lemon juice. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Um, a little bit, like a teaspoon and a half, feel it out olive oil. You can use expensive olive oil if you want, but uh, I don't feel like it. So I'm just going to use Trader Joe's brand olive oil. And you want to make like, think of like a sauce. Um, a sauce that has a lot of oil in it. But like I said, I have fat as flavor. Now we're going to season it. So the anchovies are salty, um, but you're going to need some more. And you're just going to take a spoon or a fork and mix it all up. Um, and you want the flavors to kind of just melt. So if this sits overnight, beautiful, or you, you know, make a really big bowl of it and keep it in a jar for however long it takes for you to finish it, awesome. I probably cut the parsley, didn't chop it finely enough, but it's a wild, rough salsa verde. We had a crazy night on the town bad hair day. So mix it together and then just leave it. So we took our fishy out of the oven and cooked for about 14 minutes at 400 degrees and then we just let it rest. So let it sit for a little bit. It's delicious when it's served hot but it's also like just as good when it's served room temperature and the heat stays in as it's in its beautiful slumber in its sleeping bag. Now we're going to use our hands. We're going to crack this open and if we're lucky it's going to come off with like one swoop. Might get messy, life gets messy. Just roll with it, roll with me. Okay, so, ooh. Not one swoop, but some swoop. And I have my trusty garbage bag right under. You want to just sort of get the fish out of its cave without getting too much salt everywhere. So once you kind of get the salt off the sides, you can use a fish spatula, you can use a knife. You might be luckier than me and your fishes might just really come off naturally. So we're going to scoop this fish out carefully. Beautiful. There we go. There's my swoop. We're just gonna get it on the plate. So if you see like the remnants, the cave, we basically salvage the whole fish with just a little bit of sprinkle of salt, which is great because we're gonna use the back of the spoon to remove the skin. So here's a tip. Take a spoon. The skin to just lift off pretty easily. You can use your hands or using the back of the spoon, kind of just delicately remove. Look at that. It's like magic. And what you're left with is this unbelievable flaky flesh. Wow. Salty perfectly cooked, Michelin starred, snug in a bug, like a bug in a rug, bronzino. Literally my favorite meal that takes, say, 20 minutes tops. Um, 
will knock everybody out of their seat. And it's super healthy. There's nothing bad in this whatsoever, not that there's good or bad, but you'll leave like satiated and feeling so good in your body. Um, try it, you will not be disappointed.